as we were in Anstey last week, it reminded us one of our old favourites, didn't it, Unclean? Yeah. It's the Spigot Mortars. This one here. A lot battered from last time. <laughs> it's absolutely battered now. But it would have guarded that bridge over there about 70 metres away, Unclean? Yeah. Over the Rofley Brook. These are one of our favourite things to look for. As we've told you before, it's a Second World War Home Guard anti tank gun mount. Here's a picture of the gun that would have been mounted here. Here's the view they would have seen going that way. So they'd have took Blake out as they're on the way to shoot over there. The Home Guard who would have manned this weapon would have been nothing like the Comedy Dad's Army. They were largely made up of World War I veterans. These men were experienced soldiers and they were winners. Winners. This one, as we said, is defending the bridge over there and would have blown it up as soon as the first enemy vehicle crossed it. There's two of them in this village then. Here's the other one. Again, defending a bridge. This one crosses the same brook, but on the other side of the village. Anstey itself is just over there in that direction. New development over there. It's defending that bridge that you can see. What, about 80 odd metres away, Uncle Ian? Yep. Yep. Today, we've got some amazing news, though. Beef here thinks he's found another spigot mortar, don't you, Beef? Yeah. See, we've passed our knowledge on to him, haven't we, Uncle Ian? Yes, we have. And he thinks he's discovered an undocumented genuine World War II artefact no more than a couple of miles from here. He's photoed it, me and he have seen it, haven't we? Yep. And it looks good. So we're going to go and try and find it now. Lead the way, Beefy, lead the way. This way? This way. Yeah. It's this way. Follow the beef. Yeah. Can't be more than 100 metres from the bridge, so we've got to go through and then go walk back. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. With a bucket and a spade and a hand grenade, hi ho! And a magnet. And a magnet. And a bunch of wallies. <laughs> We've errored here. We're following beef. It's a wild goose chase. But there ain't no geese. Damn busters! Beef then, having led us 300 metres up this path, has now decided that it's 200 metres in that direction. <laughs> so, I'm at the front now, yeah. and we're going this way. Silly boy. Stupid boy, Beef. Ruining your moment here, Beef. Yeah, this was your big moment, Beef, and now look what you've done. Hey, Beef, they're yours. I've, I've just been by that. It's a sign. It's a sign. Sign of the times. It's in this field here, he reckons. That little lump there. Where? Yeah. That little lump's Callum. Hey. Hey. Oh, I found it. It is one, Ian. It's big at mortar. Oh boy. This is an undiscovered spigot mortar. Beef, you're the man. Look at this, Ian. It's got the board like that, right? Yeah. Well done. That's massive. Just there. That's all, it? It's the broad arrow. So, yeah, the bridge. None of these trees or bushes would have been here in the 40s. And about 80 metres that way, there's a bridge. So this, here, is stuck. Fancy wearing shorts. That's a massive one, isn't it? Yeah. That's wider than the ones we've seen before. But yeah, that's to guard that. Now, while he works his way here then, let me show you something. Uncle Ian, you take the cam. This is a really important discovery because here's a map. 
right of Leicester. It's a ten year old map, but it don't matter because nothing's changed. Right, we brought these pins because we're hoping we're going to find it. Now, where are we on, Clean? Yeah. Groovy Road. There. I've got to get my bearings. Hold on, Glenfield, sorry. So we've just come out of Glenfield, didn't we? County Hall, coming up there. There, we're right there. Yep. So, one in there. That's where we are at the minute. The one that we've just been at is just there. Right, and the one in Anstey that we started off at today is just there. Now, look at that. They form a perfectly straight line from that one to that one to that one. And that proves that the Home Guard were using the Rofley Brook just there as a stop line. Now that's really important because no one's ever discovered this before. And using Beef's find here, well done Beef. We've discovered this new stop line around Leicester, guarding in case the Nazi attacks. That's World War II Wendell. That, that is a really good find. So would there be one there? This is the other thing. So if they've got one there, if you follow it down the brook, uh, the next major road that would have been there then, there's almost certainly would have been one there. And again, there would have been another one just there. So your academics are going to be writing about this, Ian, about this discovery that we've made today. It might sound boring and it might not look the best thing in the world but this is a really important find this is proper world war ii history this is proper archaeology that one's quite high up it is a big one isn't it well done beef because me and ian are specialists at finding these we've found undiscovered yeah. ones before haven't we ian yeah. me and you beef has now so i guess that makes uh, three of us who are really good at finding these things doesn't it cal hey let's see get all of it bro what? hey bit different for us this week, yeah. but for us, We're this is what it's all about, your, isn't it, Ian? Yeah. World War II Wendell, discovering history. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time, won't we, I'm clear? Yeah. Certainly will. Thumbs up on that. Thumbs up. Go on then, sit on it. Let's do a couple of screenshots. Oh, nice. Is anyone going to say the funny, the obvious joke? Hey, dum -dum. Give me gum -gum. Oh, Callum, go on. Dum dum, give me gum gum. That's nice, eh? Hey? Gum, gum, you dum, dum dum, you give me gum gum. You do it in, shall it's done. You dum dum, give me gum gum. Gum gum. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a dum dum down there. Oh.